Hey guys, welcome to another video regarding audio editing in Final Cut Pro 10. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I edit my vocals, dialogues, voice, anything that has to do with talking. I'm gonna be talking about the audio effects I use to make my audio go from this, this is an unedited audio straight out of my external mic, to this, it is the final fully edited audio. I invite you to open up Final Cut Pro 10 and follow along. That way you're gonna be able to replicate what I'm showing you and maybe give it a try on your own personal or professional projects. You can always save all the settings and audio effects that I'm gonna show you as a preset. If you don't know how to create an audio preset, you can check out my last video uh, where I show you exactly how to do so. And if you find this video helpful, please consider subscribing to show me your support support that'd be much appreciated so we're gonna start with um, how to apply an audio effect I know that I've talked about it in the previous video but uh, let's just quickly go back to it so once you have your clip or audio track on your timeline you are able to apply audio effects by going in the effects tab which is located right here and you can look for the effect you want to use and just drag it onto your clip. So once applied, you'll find it in the audio tab of your inspector right there. And you now can customize it to your liking. If you have multiple effects, you can always turn them on and off just by ticking these boxes. As you can see, I've applied a compressor to my audio and this is the effect I always start with and one of the main two effects that I always use on my vocals. So what does a compressor do? So as its name mentions it, it compresses your audio. It modifies the dynamic range of your audio, which goes from the softest to the loudest parts of it in order to even them out and bring out the main parts of it. Basically, it polishes the audio and allows you to get a more balanced and clear audio. So by default, you have access to different FCPX presets, but you can also customize it yourself if you want to. I personally always go with the default one. I'm happy with it, but feel free to play around with the different presets. So in this video, I'm going to show you what I personally do, uh, but I'm not saying they are the best settings at all to use. You know, you can always adapt them to your situation, but mostly to your taste. So what I usually apply next is the audio effect called channel EQ. So this tool allows you to play with the frequencies of your track and these I entirely customize. So to do so you have to click there. This window is gonna pop up. Now you can turn on the analyzer right here which is gonna allow you to see live the sound waves of your track when you play it. So the layout of this tool is pretty straightforward. On the left side you have the lowest frequencies and on the right side the highest. Then you have different sections. So the first thing I do is play my track to see where my audio is located. And once I have this information, I can start modifying my settings. I always start by getting rid of the unwanted extreme frequencies. I'll take the most extreme section and shape them in order to reduce the lowest and highest parts of my track. Most of the time, the frequencies of those two sections can be heard by the human ear. But I personally like to do this just in case. Better be safe than sorry. Right. Then finally, I play around with the different sections in order to shape my vocals the way I want it to sound like. For instance, what I personally like to do is increase the low frequencies of my voice and sometimes lower the high ones. I think it creates more depth and makes my voice richer. These are minor adjustments, but all put together, they end up making audio sound way better in my opinion. So I wouldn't recommend going crazy with these, uh, but slightly play around with the different sections. In the end, these modifications will obviously differ according to your voice and what you want to emphasize. So I'm pretty happy with that. So these two effects, uh, the compressor and the channel EQ, are the main ones that I always use. Now, there are a few others that I use depending on the situation. 
For example, if I want to remove background noise and echo, I'll use uh, the effect called the noise gate. It gives you control over the speed and intensity of your audio. This basically allows you to get rid of the noise located in the blank spaces of your audio or when you are not talking, which is usually where the background noise and echo is noticeable, you know, at the end of a sentence or a word. I'm not going to get into too much details with these extra effects, but I'll show you exactly what settings I use. So if you want to replicate them, uh, feel free to pause this video or just take a screenshot. Again, keep in mind that you should always do small adjustments, otherwise you might be pretty surprised with how weird your audio can end up sounding like. Another effect that can be useful is an adaptive limiter. This allows you to smoothly add gain to your audio. As I've mentioned in my previous video, the best place to have your audio is in between minus six decibels and zero decibels. The optimal location would literally be at minus three decibels. So if your audio isn't quite there, this tool can be handy and you can use the gain from it to place your track at this exact spot in a gentle and smooth manner. Finally, you can find many different effects in the FCPX audio effects tab, from modifying the pitch of your voice to make it sound like you're underwater, etc. You have a bunch of possibilities and things to play with. Here we've focused more on the shaping side of audio, but go ahead and experiment with the effect and be creative and you know, adapt them to your situation and liking. So that was it for this video, I hope you've enjoyed it. Feel free to come back to it anytime, as many times as you need. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up consider subscribing and you can also let me know what audio effects do you personally use. Audio editing can be pretty challenging at times, so I invite you to try the ones I just showed you on your own projects, maybe mix them up with the ones you already have and see how you like it. I'm wishing you good luck with it as well as a good day, evening or night. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.